all like the menus and maybe give you tips along the way while I'm doing this. So first, let's just start with the profile picture. You click on this, you have your name, you have your how much EXP you need to level. Here, you can change your name right here. You can get a copy paste ID, add a description. Uh, user center is where you link your account to social media, custom service, exit, self-explanatory. In the system settings, you can change your FPS like in case it lags and stuff. Um, the important part here is the auto combat. Here is the free mode, which is the semi semi auto mode so in case you want to use specific moves you can kind of just have auto but not auto so you click on it it will navigate uh only using that specific skill instead of other skills so you can use a preference thing you, for me i use the default mode because i didn't need ella to dragon once and then after dragoning everything just just runs its course uh i think by buff display it usually show on the like the characters um above their bar i usually have it on Auto settings, self-explanatory. Other settings is where you redeem your codes. There is a code right now called the beginning, no caps, all, all caps, no spaces. <laughs> you, know, you can put that in here, redeem, you get a bunch of goodies. Uh, there is a bunny, I think, a, or a cat ear avatar that comes with that. And community, of course, is their social medias. Uh, here is the stamina. Usually you wanna refresh your using soul first. And soul is kind of what you use for summoning. Uh, you do get a bunch of it throughout like uh, different quests and stuff like that. But usually you want to use this because this is a daily cap. Uh, these aren't daily cap. So uh, yeah, so if you do have a bunch, you, I have like a lot of souls just like by doing stuff from the game. So you want to just, I never, I didn't use any premium currency to buy any souls. So you want to use this first and refresh first. Uh, maybe like if you don't want to, if you're like a little, little stingy, you know, you can use two or three times and then start using potions or whatever. But anyway, this is the premium currency. It's this gem. This is your souls. You can use this for summon. This is like the regular currency kind of thing. And mana is like the in-game energy or like gold that you need to use to... You use mana for everything. You need to ascend. You need to upgrade equipment. Everything pretty much uses mana. And here is your mailbox. You can check the history of all the stuff that you collected in case you deleted your mail. Of course, you can just claim all, delete your red mail. And here's you have announcements. Uh, the banner comes in around like two every two or three days uh, but yeah here here you can see all the announcements and stuff like that uh, we'll go over the banner stuff later and here we have the shop let's go to the shop so we have the monthly card here usually it's pretty worth it um you instantly get 30 premium currency uh so if you were to like spend even a little bit this this is probably the one that you get i think the first time you get it is actually like a dollar off uh daily packs are free usually say like, like some random like some minor souls or whatever Daily pack is usually pretty nice too, um, if you if you have premium currency. And here's the battle pass. You can go here, level five, you get Ella. So that's 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 also a nice thing that you can consider getting. That's what I got. I got the battle pass, and then I got the monthly card, and that's pretty much all I did. Uh, here's the top off. You can get like diamonds, and you can use your souls. You get souls to converting your premium currency, which is these diamond things, right, into souls. And of course, these do have packs. These limited packs are usually more worth it than the monthly packs. So if you were to get any of these packs, I would consider getting the limited time ones. They're way better. You get one like every five level, you get one of these elite packs, or actually you get you get a free level up pack. And then you can also use your premium currency to get these elite packs. And then of course, the doll costumes, whatever they have for characters in particular, you can buy their costumes. I got Ella because she's my main, right? Then we have supplies. Yeah, you can swipe if you want. <laughs> we have supplies. Uh, I usually use most of my supplies for summons, and then everything else is kind of like if I want, if I really need it or not. So you get white petals for just doing summonings in general, like summoning dolls, like the lower the lower rank one, and then you can convert them to golden petals, which I believe if you like SSR or higher, maybe or you are, you can get some of these golden petals, especially for like dupes. I think that's what it is. <laughs> but friendship points is where when you use your friend's dolls into battle, right? Your friend's dolls into battle, you can get friendship points. And friendship points you use to buy stuff. I usually buy this, like some of the stuff that are 50% off. There is a commission or a daily task where you, you want to buy something from the friendship shop. So that's what this 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 is the shop. You can also restock, reset the stock, I believe. Uh, you can use some points for that. You get four chances. And then we have furniture. 
you get coins from these coins for furniture and then furniture is had to do with the magic tree um when you're doing your 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 missions where you go you send characters out for like specific time and then they bring stuff back and trial shop is this is like the equipment stuff so every time you do any of the like, equipment runs you get these crystals um usually you want to save up for the legendary box because that's like the rainbow that's like higher than gold uh, but you can also buy these but usually you want to save it for that and then the chrono space is the pvp stuff so when you unlock pvp uh, you unlock the shop and but usually want to we'll go over the pvp stuff later but yeah that's the shop part okay this this has the battle pass so if you click on the earlier shop it takes you here um there's a seven day login and you get arcana day three i believe you get more does it do you get more after this but we'll see i don't know but yeah you can click on here to see the attributes this is a growth fund um i suggest if you're getting the battle pass get the growth fund first because that's 15 bucks and then give you a lot of crystals i don't know why i can't claim this because i think i claimed it earlier and the button is still <laughs> claimable um but that give you a, a lot of crystals just for like 15 instead of just buying the pass um I think it's like 30 bucks for 128 crystals. So that will give you more and then use those crystals to buy the battle pass. And then here we have Flora, which is a witch journey. I believe she just stays here, right? You have like, it's a permanent event, but I, of course you had to wait till seven days from launch to get this. And apparently she's a light healer. Another, you have toenail already, right? Here's the light healer. And then, um, but yeah, that's all the gifts. Over here, we have event. You might see like on streams and stuff, people come in posting their invite code. There is another option here where you can like input an invite code and then they'll be under like the list of invite a new player. So, but you do get souls and stuff for invitation rewards. So if you go here, right, there's like quests for inviting players, you get some extra souls. And then if they can reach a specific level, like level 10, level five, you also get more, by the way. So that's, that's that. And then this part just refers you back to the shop. Of uh, the menu down here, this is where the juicy stuff, of course you can navigate these, you know, on, on the screen here, but you can click on adventure, right? There's a bunch of stuff here, the dream world, intangible memory, uh, dimensional trials, stuff like that. So there's like all that, the battle stuff and everything. Let's do the story first. So just some tips on the story. You notice there's enemies on the over, in the map over there. If you don't fight them and you finish the map, you get stamina back. And that's that's good because you rather use that stamina to farm other things, especially in the dream world and other stuff. So it's, try to dodge and juke enemies as much as you can. So that, that's a nice tip. But um, you want to also get all the chests in the world because once you get the chest, you get loot, right? So you find all seven chests in this map, for example, you get loot. And of course, if you finish the boss map, you get like nice stuff right here right if you get all the chests in the world you get a 10 pole man that that's nice stuff right so that's basic story stuff here um some of them have intermissions some of them don't like chapter one uh, chapter four might not have one who knows but let's just look at uh we'll go we'll go this way since we're starting off here we'll go this way dream world you get some nice stuff right a lot of the, your grind is going to be in dream world especially the mana dungeon because you're always gonna need mana, and mana needs for everything. So what you wanna do as a tip is, hopefully you can try to get to level 20 as fast as you can, cause this is the cap. The max is dream six, and you get like 500K mana per run. So that's what you kinda wanna do, try to get 20 as fast as possible so you can unlock this, and then, then you can start grinding. And then we have ascension. So usually ascension and like mana or skill is, Ascension and skills are usually the one where you grind for like while you're waiting and then of course mana whenever you need mana A lot of things need skills. So these are actually broken up into categories, right? So you have guardian healers You're gonna use guardian healers for these maps to get like the guardian healer stone destroyer assassin mage and compeller So this kind of carries over to the like, skill equipment as, as well um, Not the skill material. I'm mean, the doll equipment. I mean the skill materials it's just whatever, right? De depending what you need. Uh, but the doll equipment is also the same thing. Garden healer, destroyer, assassin, and mage compeller. Um, so I did mention that you get these rocks, right? You unlock them. You get try to get legendary chests. So this is where you get them. 
yeah so that's pretty much it for dream world a lot of it is just whatever you need to ascend and stuff like that intangible memory is more like the side story stuff you can i, I still haven't finished this it's a quest to finish it i need to finish it <laughs> so you just do that um another gripe that i have is that to skip the neck you skip the whole conversation but that's a different story Anyway, here's Dimensional Trials. You unlock them as you progress through the story. First of all, you unlock his PvP. Uh, does this say when you unlock it? I have no idea, but it's been a while. I did unlock this, so what you want to do, you do want to do the PvP daily because it gives you a lot of EXP, especially when you try to do Master. It gives you a lot of EXP, so if you run out of stamina, you come here do your PvP, level up, get your stamina back. And go do that. Um, and of course, you want to use your... You want to redeem as much as you can, get as much keys. You can get up to eight keys a day, right? So you just use your currency that you got, your victory reward, these these blue orbs, you get more keys. And of course, there's the shop here. You can go click here. Um, as you progress, you can unlock more stuff, and it also takes you back to the, the shop that I mentioned earlier. Of course, you can refresh if the things are too OP. So do what you will. <laughs> here is the evil return, which is like the boss rush stage. So you try to beat the boss as fast as possible and there's a ranking as well here. There's a ranking list and it's for each one. So you can do what you will with that. And Broken Lands, I haven't actually got, gone in here, but you can climb the tower. You're going to need multiple teams for this. You climb the tower, you're going to get a lot of souls per week. So this is like, kind of like a week thing. This, it reset in two days. Oh god, I should, I should get on this soon. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the adventure part. I couldn't juke him because he's like blocking the way of where I needed to go. But um, let's say you have a monster here, right? Um, the, I'm going to explain it like, a, I guess, software engineer with state machines. So there's a specific state, like they're in the resting state where they just stand there. And then when they, you're within range, they go to the chasing state. And then once you're far away enough, they go back to the run back, whatever the state is, right? They'll run back to the resting position. But while they're doing the run back state, right? They're running back to the rest position. If you go within the range of them while they're in that, that rest position, they don't still chase you. So what you want to do is when you try to juke them is that you're trying to get them while they're going back to their, their original spot. At that point, um, you can kind of go around them like that. Uh, prioritize ascension first and levels and then skills. And then do equipment last. Um, there, you can just use purple for the time being, for because that's like the last thing you need to worry about. And you can also just jump straight into rainbow, get a legendary chest, or you can do gold later. But that's like that's like the least things you gotta worry. And of course, apparently percentages, like attack percentage, is way better than the flat one. So if you want to aim for something, you don't know which equipment to use, go for that. Let's look at dolls, okay? I'll just go over everything on here. Uh, actually, we should go back over here, right? You can see the list. You can filter by level. You can change the order. Okay, that, that's it. All right, we're going to move on. to In, in the menu here, um, the tutorial will, go, will help you go through this. But here you can see your stats, right? And then, um, of course, you have affection level. You can click here. You can give them gifts here from here as well, right? And then these actually give you some stats or like story background stuff. And here you can change your costume. And then here you can give comments. You can see what people rate that that unit. Best waifu, AOE goddess, whatever. You can even post your own thing <laughs> and be like, what's up, right? Um, I, I, this set actually just tells you what items you have equipped. Um, so that's on here. So what I mentioned with equipment later, kind of here. So yeah, you know what, Since we're, segue to equipment. You can just do with purple equipment, just max it out. You get a lot of purple equipment through the story. So just max that out, whatever you seem fit that you need. Um, just max it to 30 and then just leave that. You don't have to touch it. I didn't even max these out and I'm doing fine to be honest. But yeah, so, some parts you're gonna need like your healer in the story. Usually it's the squishy one. So maybe you wanna max out their equipment just to, so they can live, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, here we got it. Level up, of course, you need mana, right? Mana for everything. You can go extend here. And ascension is where it's at, like the main focus of your your progression thus far, or to begin with. You get the equipment, right? You get to go whatever you need. You can click here, see what you need. Go ascension and stuff like that. 
Yeah, of course. If yeah, if if you max out gold right away, and you won't need to do it. But getting gold is gonna be like, you want to get stronger first, right? In terms of, in terms of like power spikes, levels up gives you way more. Ump compared to equipment, and then skills do that too, right? You click, you click here, you see your skills, like I. The passive is very good, so usually you probably want to lock passive as soon as you can. Not, not okay, not as soon as you can. After you get extension, um, then things start getting more costly. Then you can kind of like, yo, these are these are less costly now. Um, so compared to those, and you just get the passive. Passive is good, so just get the passive. You can move on if you want, but of course you want to work concentrate on one team first, and then move on to the next team. So you can just bust through the story if anything. And here we got evolution. Evolution, uh, the first star, you need one of these uh, or four of these. And then the next one, you probably need like eight of these or two of these. And three, you need three of these or 12 of these. So wh whatever you may do, whatever you want to do with. <laughs> that's, that's that for the basic of the character or the doll screen. Uh, elemental buffs, if you guys didn't know, if you have one of the same element, over here, right? You get you get ten percent to health, attack, and defense. I'm using Rainbow Team. I'm doing okay though, so don't let that discourage you if the if the game doesn't give you like specific elements that you want to use. <laughs> and of course, if you have to back up and your deploy dolls are the same element, you get fifteen percent to all those. By the way, and you can also test your formation here. You hit a testing dummy, so you can also do that. It's up to you. But yeah, it's formation shot. Is where you see all your items, I mean your equipment or stuff. Uh, most of the time you don't need the blue ones. You can use them to enhance or you just decompose them. But here you can check your equipment on all your characters. But that's pretty much what this is. You can click here to sort. right? And you can check materials here and valuables. right? You can see what you have listed. And why don't we just go into the forge. So here we have... Uh, you get the enhancement stones and stuff, and the blue ones you probably want to use for enhancements. Uh, there's like uh, blue, purple, yellow, and then there's the rainbow. And I believe the rainbow and the gold actually needs, when you go to Ascension, to raise the cap, right? Uh, actually, I should probably go to a, a lesser one. Let's see, let's go to a gold one here. You go to Ascend, you're going to need dupes of like the same rarity. But for rainbow, you also need you can also just use gold so you're gonna be farming a lot of gold uh, i believe level you get these redstone every stages right that, that i mentioned um from solux um dungeon stuff but eight is where you get the most so you just farm that later on an enhancement is that you just add special properties like each each equipment also have extra slots that you can add you know you have magic defense but then you also add extra or more depending on which stone you use the kind of rarity a fix that you get so um the chances i mean so for this one you can still get a, a c to a this one you can get a b to s um i'm not sure this one i'm probably assuming like maybe like a to s or something like that um, i don't have any stones so i can't say but yeah that's the basics of the workshop and the forge and stuff like that <laughs> all right now we got summoning let's go here there are actually four types of banners here we only see three uh, but let's look at the log. Log is where you actually see your history of pulls. Uh, unfortunately, it's in text form, so you're gonna have to like read it and then look for like, oh, you get a UR, SSR, or whatever, right? So that's that. And the rules uh, will pretty much tell you everything, right? It'll tell you the drop rates of the units and what kind of units drop, by the way. So if you actually go to the Soul Summon, there's actually something like different in this one. You actually get an enemy here or an enemy. Her, she only appears in this one right now. She doesn't appear in the other ones. And uh, yeah, she's like one of the, never mind, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Spoiler, right? Anyway, let's go back to the rules. So you can see the drop rates and then here are the rules, right? So you guarantee um, within 80 summons to get a UR and we do get UR, it resets. And then you can notice on the bottom right here, I didn't see this uh, earlier, but on the bottom right, if you want the rate of banner, you actually gotta summon like up to 160 for the guarantee, if you don't get it. I believe yeah so if you do get it then it'll reset right if you get the rate of banner um with even if you got earlier than 160 so you can get like multiple urs 
But until you hit, hit that 160, you're not guaranteed that rate up banner. And here mentions the four pulls, the four pull systems, right? The the four banners. There's the soul summon, which is the permanent with no rate ups, to all equal, um, according to ra rarity, of course. Uh, Awakening, uh, no event. It just has rate up banners like this one. The these unit actually exists, right? In the in the regular banner, uh, Dream Lamb summon. That's the one that doesn't show up here. Open events has rate ups, and then afterward it can add to the soul summon. Okay, we added to the permanent banner. Exclusive are the limited ones. They are on during event. They have the rate up, which is the, the the archer lady that we have here, and we don't know when they're gonna come back. Okay, and they even <laughs> highlighted right here that the candy summon count. So the pity, your pity, right here, right? It carries over to the next banner if you don't get that unit. So it, let's say you you summon for this one, right? This banner is gonna end soon. You don't get the unit that you want then the 60 will appear on the next one but yeah that's pretty much it for the rules and then redeem is that you can actually tr change your your temples into a single temple so you don't have to do that one at a time and of course details on these just tells you about the rate up banner of this season no details here there's no rate up and that's pretty much for the summons and every summon banner there is 50% every new banner there's a 50% chance I mean the 50% discount not chance 50% discount for like like a thousand gems to do your first 10 pull on that banner usually you do that you can just do that first and stuff like that and uh and then you just stop it if that's not the banner or character you're going for and look I got Tama <laughs> all right more tips so for souls like for summons uh I you should actually use your souls as a priority for your stamina first like your refreshes i would rather use it for that than doing your like your temples and whatever or any kind of summons so that's probably the priority level in with that and if you want to level up your rank faster um the best way would be doing the highest level that you can on like the dream world stuff or pvp Right, these are like the, the best one. Usually the master, the harder one will give you the most EXP for your player rank. So let's look at the commission board. Here you have, this is technically your dailies, right? Uh, I already maxed out, so technically I don't think I, there's a point in doing ex more of these. So if you don't need to, don't worry about it because this is all you can claim. I don't think this actually applies to anything, in my opinion. Um, the storyline, this is where you get your... It's like storyline extra bonuses that you finish. And here we got achievements. There's like four of these. There's a progression. There's like the bond with your dolls, like how many dolls you get. Growth is like how many mana, how many stages you clear and stuff like that. And ascension. Social is like how many friends you made and friendship points, etc. Um, you do level up doing these as well. And then every time you get a level up, uh, you get an extra summon. And then here you can see your badges as well in case you want to do that. Of course, you would put those badges in your profile, right? And you have commissions. These are the butterflies, which actually increases your battle pass, right? You can claim here. You can go here. It's happy. I believe it, it comes out every other day. And yeah, you get your, your battle pass stuff. So you do want to do those when you can. Uh, I got something outrageous like leveling up Mortimer <laughs> and, and using specific ones in the in the story and when they do have that you just put them in the background you don't even have to have them in the party like i the, the reason why i had her here was just so i can it count towards that commission you can click on the specific character to get their character profile and then you also have the overview which are other npcs that you see that you see in the story you can see them here if you encounter them or not and of course dolls that you have and you don't have if you're one of those collection people and then we also have equipment of equipments that you have and you don't have you can check all of them here um, of course you can't see the ones that you don't have locked I mean unlocked and here's the all the monsters that you encountered so far right and then stuff that you didn't encounter so that's pretty much the archive which courtyard go here it's like your mini mini oasis that um, kind of supplement into your gameplay so 
here you have like the magic tree which you can use to upgrade your buildings and stuff like that uh the magic tree is you the, the the bottleneck like if you need level three is the max so just getting the level three will kind of stop these from leveling and you get the the map to upgrade the magic tree from the story so why don't we go through all this here the cottage and we'll go this way we'll go this way <laughs> the firefly lamp is what you want to kind of start off with so in the beginning you only have like the white ones right so what you want to do is just max out the white ones though you actually get access to the white and blue but you want to max out the white ones so you can upgrade right to increase the cap and then once you unlock that then you can kind of build a little bit of blue and then a little bit of white and then you want to have enough to upgrade the cap so what you want to prioritize is upgrading the cap first and then um, whatever you need just keep doing that because this will help you with upgrading your buildings and whatnot because you need those and then um, the important part of this witch courtyard is actually I believe is the mirror the mirror is where you send your units to collect like extra things passively so you don't actually need to actively do this of course you can refresh this a few times you get some extra mana throughout the day I finished it at 20 minutes um, and then the, your units get exhausted afterwards and then after that you want to go to your cottage right and you want to put in your dolls here and then they recover they recover their energy for this and of course the more furniture and fancy furniture that you put in here the faster they recover right so the first level you get one the second level you get two and assuming the third level you get three so this is why furniture is important if you really care about that but i usually put them randomly just to increase their increase their comfort level <laughs> and we have the alchemy lab level one you can use you can change exchange quartz so the way to exchange work is of course you need an alchemist here um they have their own alchemy skill so here usually here you come here is that you i mostly use this for converting quartz right so when you do dungeons uh dissension dungeons and stuff like that um you could you're gonna get these quartz that you can get more over the other like let's say you do a guardian and healer one you keep getting healer ones like god dang it why can't i get guardian ones you can come here you convert them you take two you you, you take three and you convert into two so it's, it's three to two so you're technically losing one extra but then if you have too much of one then you know you just convert it at uh, level one you can do these white ones or these uh blue ones and then level two you get to do the purple ones and of course level three you can unlock the the rainbow looking ones and uh, you can lock materials at level three. Um, I haven't got that far yet, so I can't show you. But you can, I think you can just click here and you can kind of see. And you also get alchemy bonuses. Oh, these are actually different. These are alchemy bonuses. So the more you do alchemy, the more you get. So as, you, as you're doing alchemy, you get these potions and you can level up. So you can level this up another way. I haven't even touched it yet, so you can see it from there. And then, of course, you have music box later that you unlock through the story. It's just collecting music. This one, the villa, is I feel like it's completely useless. It's like these passive training things, but you can just train whatever units you want just by putting them in the back line, and then they'll level up just that way. So uh, this is kind of pretty much useless unless you're like you're completely capped and you want to just do this for fun for like a light a white light sink, but. Don't bother man i would just use this like oh if you have too many white lights just take this off and put it into your rainbows like i'm capped on blue maybe i should convert them into rainbows right just take this away one two plus another five. Oh. uh right there put another five yeah so that is the witch courtyard i believe the max number of friends you have is 100 but here you can see your profile Right, you can change your name and stuff like that too, like what you did in the top left in the home screen. But here you can flex, right? You can you can display what kind of dolls you want to show. Whatever you want to do, you can confirm. You can get up to four, and then badges you can also flex. Whatever badges you wanna you wanna just throw out there. Like you can take this, put that there. Maybe I like the fireball, but this one's gold. Switch that. Confirm. Flexing purposes. Here's your friend list. You can chat with them here as well. You can also have a, you can also check a blacklist if you got one. You can view the profiles here and there. Here's the search. 
right? It's all the requests that you got. If you don't have requests, it's automatically bring you to recommended. Here's where you can search your friends, right? So that, that ID that you saw, you can come here and you can search your friends. Uh, at one point it was kind of broken, but uh, I think now they kind of fixed it. And here's the blacklist in case you want to blacklist anyone. It's being like making you feel weird <laughs> or being a douche. You blacklist them. And here we have guild. Right now there is no real main purpose for guild. It's just a, a chat room, like a chat room simulator kind of thing. And yeah, you can put your, your guild ID. Uh, one thing, do it. One thing. If you're going to make a guild, make sure you check the flag first. I wanted to change my flag. There's no option to change the flag right now. I'm so sad. I didn't want a joker icon, but that's what it is right now. Um, right now I'm the guild leader, so you kind of see like the guild stuff. There's a lot of approvals. Even though it's full, I still get a, I still get requests. So, it's, sure. <laughs> and uh, me member info, right? So there's like specific positions, like their transfer leader, vice leader. The vice leader can actually kick people out as well and uh, invite people as well. Elite, I'm not too sure yet. I'm not sure what it does. Uh, maybe one of my elite members can tell me what what powers they have. And if you want to remove from the guild, just remove it from here, right? Or report player, etc. like that. So that's basically the guild. They're going to add a new guild system later though, right? They're going to add um, guild daily check-in, EXP, and then probably a guild shop. That's what they, that's what I heard. So until then, right now it's a chat room simulator. But yeah, that's pretty much all on this. But yeah, shout out to all the, my viewers. That are currently on my stream right now. There, you can see their names down below. They gave some help, helpful tips as, while I'm doing this. But yeah, hopefully that helps. That and with that, later days. I actually like in my Discord or watch my streams. So uh, if you're a rando in here, I'm sorry if I kick you and stuff like that. But uh, that that's just priority. You get the plus one of your 